Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has watered down a pre-election vow not to allow the establishment of a Palestinian state. In a US TV interview, Mr Netanyahu said he wanted a two-state solution, but said circumstances have to change. The interview with MSNBC was his first since winning a clear election victory earlier this week. As the campaign ended Mr Netanyahu had appealed to supporters by saying he would not allow a Palestinian state. But that view was tempered in Thursday's interview, in which he also denied accusations that another last-minute campaign pronouncement amounted to racism. I don't want a, a one-state solution. I want a sustainable, peaceful two-state solution, but for that circumstances have to change, Mr Netanyahu told MSNBC. I never changed my speech in Bar Island University six years ago calling for a demilitarized Palestinian state that recognizes the Jewish state. What has changed is the reality, he said. Islamist forces. He cited as a sticking point Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas' refusal to recognize Israel as a Jewish state. He also repeated a frequent criticism of Mr Abbas' decision to enter a unity government with militant Islamist group Hamas, which is sworn to Israel's destruction. And he criticized the idea that Israel might hand over territory to the Palestinians at the current time. Every territory that is vacated in the Middle East is taken up by Islamist forces, Mr Netanyahu said. His original comments were made on Monday, one day before Israel's election, when he was asked by an interviewer, if you are Prime Minister, a Palestinian state will not be established. Mr Netanyahu answered indeed. Analysts viewed the remark as an attempt to shore up support among right-wing voters as polls showed his Likud party just behind the center-left opposition alliance, the Zionist Union. The Zionist Union had promised to repair ties with the Palestinians and the international community. Mr Netanyahu's remark prompted the US, EU and UN to urge a continuation of efforts to secure a two-state solution in the Middle East. White House spokesman Josh Ernest such an approach had been U.S. policy for more than 20 years. Racism Denial Mr Netanyahu also used his MSNBC interview to insist that a separate campaign comment, made on election day itself, was not racist. On Tuesday Mr Netanyahu posted a video message on his Facebook page, in which said, right-wing rule is in danger. Arab voters are going to the polls in droves. Left-wing organizations are bringing them in buses. That video was criticized as dog-whistle racism, an accusation he countered in his interview. An Arab vote is, I think, it's very, very important. I'm very proud to be the Prime Minister of all of Israel's citizens, Arabs and Jews alike, he said. The White House called the video a cynical election day tactic and a pretty transparent effort to marginalize Arab-Israeli citizens. I can tell you that these are views the administration intends to communicate directly to the Israelis, Mr Ernest said on Thursday. US President Barack Obama has not yet called to congratulate Mr Netanyahu on his election victory. Mr Ernest said both leaders' staff were working to schedule the call, which could come as early as Thursday.